Hello everybody, this is Dr. Matt and I am I just wanted to show an example of a case that I'm designing a single tooth crown uh, number two uh, so and I'm going to be using ExoCAD now speaking of ExoCAD I just want to give a quick shout out to my boy Sean Vandeviver from ExoCademy. Check out exocademy.net if you are interested in getting into ExoCAD because it's a great resource. He's done amazing stuff over there. Um, and that's actually where I got my ExoCAD and started my ExoCAD training was through his uh, online academy. So it's wonderful, wonderful resource if you're interested in doing your own designs and everything. So I'm going to be doing a crown today. Uh, I'm going to type in the patient's chart number so that way it's uh, HIPAA compliant here. Usually I type in their names but and now since I'm recording this and it uh, I'm recording this and running ExoCAD my machine may go a little bit slow here. So I'm going to highlight number two and we're going to go anatomic crown. I'm going to be using a zirconia crown and no implants, none, none, I'm not going to need to really change any of this stuff and color was A2 so pretty standard there we go now does not have wisdom teeth so I'm going to hit that missing and a little tip is to hit control hit and hold control and it'll copy whatever selection you made there and then I'm going to hit number three that is adjacent and then I'm going to go ahead and hit shift and it's going to link all those together I'm going to hit here for antagonist hold shift and it'll do the same thing there so just a way to kind of speed up the process here and then I am actually going to I did a digital scan but um, I'm actually going to act like I put it on a uh, articulator just because I like the I do have the virtual articulator module on here so I'm going to be acting like it's actually stone models when in truth it was uh, digital scans but anyways we're going to save that all right now we'll go ahead and go to design so um so here's something kind of cool. Um, I use a CS3600 uh, for my scanner, right? And the tips, they actually last a pretty long time. I haven't had to really replace any just yet. Um, so no uh, other than we did do a triple tray with some blue mousse and light body for uh, the design for the temporary. But... Um, really there's no there's no impression no sending this off to a lab I can design this here in ExoCAD and I'll have to gray this out so that way it's not going it doesn't show uh, patient stuff here but Now she was a uh, she was a tough cookie to work on. A she had quite a bit of a CRCO slide, and so she's one of those you prepped a second molar and you know you took two millimeters off yet when you go to check the bite, she had no clearance. Which I kind of anytime I'm prepping a second molar, okay, we're designing the access. We don't want the red. We want to get our access on point so there we go but anytime I'm prepping a second molar now I always uh, mention that possibility there I want to start the virtual articulator I'll need to re-articulate my models virtually and you'll just kind of see how I do this here I'm not going to modify the scan I'm going to have them open the articulator Okay, so 
So we're going to rearticulate models virtually. And I'm going to move them along this plane here. Hit, control, hit and hold control and then you can change the models like that. I'll flip those around. I'm on you. There we go. So is this going to be as accurate as um, doing a full articulation? No, it's not. But at the same time, it is going to be more accurate than just relaying the models together without any sort of virtual simulation, chewing simulation. So, not getting too fancy with it. There we go. That looks pretty decent. Okay. I hit OK. All right. So now we're good. I'm going to start the articulating. You can see it going through the virtual articulation. And so for a single crown, is this a little bit overkill? Eh, maybe, but I like doing it. It only takes a couple minutes for me to do, so I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, my computer is going to be a little bit on the slower side because I'm running so much stuff on it right now. I'm usually not recording with Camtasia and running ExoCAD. Yeah, I probably have like 30 browsers up right now. There we go. Okay. So, um, to the guys let you know a little bit. Now, if I don't have the time to do this, I actually, um, I actually outsource my um, designs quite a bit. I have a few different companies that I work with. Um, ScanCAD 3D, there's a company called BioCAD, there's a few independent designers um, that all do good job. And let's see, we'll clean that up a little bit here. So I'm just getting enough points to get a rough outline here. I will clean this up here in just a minute. So that distal is pretty tough here. Okay, so that gives us a kind of in the ballpark. Now we can go in and kind of fine tune things here. So, no. And so if you have issues about where you're at, check out this little purple sphere. It's a little topographical map. And so I'm, if I have problems, I'll run it up where I know it's two structure. And then it's just going to, it's catching that topography. And you see how I'm hitting the end of my valley there I'm, and then riding up again. So there I'm most, I'm for sure on gum tissue. And so I just, I'm putting it kind of right in that peak of that valley there. So if you have any issues, um, this is an STL file. If I um, really had issues, because I feel good about that, but if I really had issues, I would import my DICOM files. I'd export the DICOM instead of the STLs, and it's going to have the true high def um, 
uh, pictures files. So that looks good to me there. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. So yeah, she's a bit, bit gaggy, a bit talkative too. She was actually trying to talk to me when I was giving her anesthetic. Now I'm going to be using Alien Milling. So this is a this I usually don't change the borders. You can as far as the cement gap, but this has been working with me for me. But with my milling that I'm going to be using, I want to switch this diameter to 065. And so that's going to be particular to your milling unit, but I'm actually going to be using Alien Milling. I'm going to source this out. Um, so I want to change that. And so, you know, depending on the designer that you use, if you're using ExoCAD, obviously it's it's free. I mean, there's uh, once you pay for the software, you have it. You can just use it. Um, you could do a biocopy if you wanted. Um, I do. Uh, I I don't use this a whole lot. Um, honestly, uh, you can. Or if you have a pre-op scan, you can use that. But her pre-op scan, I did take one. I've started taking ones for insurance purposes. Um, so that way we have a pre-op scan that we can then, if insurance wants to be, you know, difficult, we can then, uh, we have something to fall back on to show the pre-op. Yeah, so that is pretty, check this out, okay. it's pretty tilted, and I'm just getting it rough um, estimate because I'm going to be doing a lot of smoothing and sculpting here in just a little bit. I'm just getting a getting a ballpark. So if you see where that um, those little red marks were showing, that's where you're encroaching, um, impinging on the one millimeter um, minimum thickness that I set at the beginning. Technically, the zirconia I'm going to be using, they say you can go down to 0.65. Uh, I I still keep it at I still keep it at a millimeter just for a little extra safekeeping. I can adjust and polish a little bit. Okay. So I did tell her, check this out. So let's see. So she does, is she still going to be hitting? I may have to adjust this opposing a bit more. And I did let the patient know that ahead of time, that that was a possibility, but We'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the dynamics and adjacents so I can see all of. And so the dynamic, that only comes up if you did the virtual articulator. So here, upon dynamic excursions and everything, this shows all of the contact, OK? So I'm going to get rid of the antagonist. That shows all the contact. So when she moves lateral, she's going to be hitting that. So I'm going to hit cut all ex in intersections. I like to remove all um, interferences if I can. And so by doing that, that looks pretty good. I'm going to recreate some anatomy here and smooth this out. But so that that kind of carves in the the uh, excursive patterns there. But we don't want to leave it like that because that looks like crap. So I'm gonna 
to smooth this out a little bit, um, but not go too much because then you lose your anatomy. So smooth and flatten is one of my favorite tools. Um, just regular left click smooths. If you hold shift, it'll flatten. Okay, so not too shabby. Um, I'm gonna hold jaw scans off and we're getting some contact there uh, on the uh, adjacent here and approximals. And I usually don't bulk that out too much because then, because when, what I started doing, and I'll just show you here, I'll do some add. What I, what I was doing was this. I kind of bulk that out a little bit so I made sure I had good contact. Uh, I ended up, I ended up uh, having to do tons of adjustments. <laughs> so I just, I cut all intersections and I just leave it at that. That's uh, that's good there. So and it's going to be hitting the gums there a little bit. That's fine. Okay. So for a second molar, that's not too shabby. And then hit next, and it'll render out the STL. So you'll fr probably see a little bit of a uh, yeah. So we'll see a little bit of a uh, occlusion there, but that's no big deal. And so this is something to consider okay um, the cost of my crowns I'm I'm interested in getting a in office milling unit a chair side unit but man right now my crowns cost me $40 um, $50 if I use a design service um, but my zirconia crowns are costing me are I have brought my lab bills down so much by doing this that it's the only reason I'd want to get the um, the only reason I want to get the mill now is to uh, um, basically to do same day dentistry, which is enticing to me because we're getting eaten up with crown deliveries. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you real quick what that looks like. Okay, and here we are. So that's what the uh, that's what the crown will look like. I will then upload this into Alien uh, Aliens Online Portal, and in about three business days, I'll have this back. So um, great way to get into general uh, dental uh, digital sorry digital dentistry without um, breaking the bank and paying you know a hundred thousand plus for a scanner and milling unit. If you just want to kind of start dipping your toes in, getting going, um, this is a great way to do it. So, hope you found that uh, found that beneficial, and I'll talk to you later.